Well, good morning. Today I got $1,500 in cash and I'm going to Vegas. You know, I always have this like hyperbolic intro. <laughs> Anyways, I'm at the hotel. I do have $1,500 cash and I am going to Vegas, but I'm actually buying a truck. Isn't that fantastic? Well, not for $1,500. What, what happens is my bank uh, has a $1,000 or my debit card has a $1,000 withdrawal limit, which I tried to increase yesterday, but the bank was closed. They're like, oh, all of our customer service agents are gone. They're closed because of Corona. So, uh, so I took out some cash yesterday, um, some of it from my personal debit card and then the other thousand bucks from the business debit card. And now today I'm going to go take out some more cash. So another thousand dollars. So for 2,500 bucks, I'm buying a truck. So that automatically should give you some ideas that this is not a very awesome truck. Uh, it's pretty cool for its like age and condition, but it's not going to be very, very expensive. So anyways, today, right, or right now I got to clean up the, not clean it up, but I just got to pack my stuff and I'm in Barstow, California. So I got to clean up, pack up because it's checkout day and we got to hit the road so we can go pick this thing up. It's going to be super awesome. I'm taking you guys along with me. So anyways, let's quickly clean up and let's uh, let's go get my truck. All right, so here's the cash, 2,500 buckaroos. Uh, let's go buy this truck. I checked out of the hotel. Everything's good to go. Um, now, the reason I'm in Barstow actually is because I, I had a delivery up in um, Fort Irwin, right? And Fort Irwin is one of those bases where it's like, darn it, it's in the middle of nowhere, right? And so Fort Irwin, I would, I delivered, and by, and by the time I calculated, by the time I would get to my base, to my next base delivery in Los Angeles, and then I had actually base deliveries in San Diego, I wouldn't make it. And so I was like, ah, whatever, you know what I mean? Like my ETA to the Los Angeles base was like three o'clock on a Friday. It's like, well, most bases are gonna be closed. So, so I said, oh well, there's no point in going down to LA, sitting in traffic or paying for an expensive hotel down there. So I'd rather just stay up in Barstow because Fort Irwin, you know what I mean? I, I, basically I just, just chose that here, it's probably cheaper and better and less places to send, spend my money. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, ah, I'd rather just sit and, I, and that's what I did. And I sat in my hotel room and I edited it all for two days straight. But anyways, so got the cash, we checked out, we're packed up. I pulled into the parking lot uh, thinking that maybe I'd be able to swing this turn right here. Nope, not gonna happen. So I guess I'll just back right out. It's a good thing it's like three in the morning so there's like no cars. Um, so yeah, the Viva Las Vegas, right? <laughs> And just like that, we're here, we're in Vegas. Uh, look at that, you see the Aria or whatever? I I've been there, then the New York Hotel. I don't know, can you see right there? Uh, so I am at the truck stop that I always go to when I go to Vegas, which is the Wild Wild West, right? Yeah, <laughs> Wild Wild West Truck Plaza. Uh, just because it's right in the middle, dude, it's fantastic. But they, they, they got some prime real estate, I swear. Um, so anyways, quick couple hour drive. We're a little bit early, I'm meeting up with the seller um, like later in the morning. I'm gonna go get some breakfast real fast and uh, you know, use the restroom, stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't want, I want, I'd rather be early than, you know, rushing all the time. Uh, a quick thing is right now, the truck gauge says on the inside of my truck, right now it says it's 99 or 96 or something, which it doesn't feel like 96, maybe because it's not, the sun's not out but it's hot. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's uh, super interesting. It's like six in the morning and it's already 90 degrees. Uh, goodness gracious. So anyways, I'm gonna go get some breakfast and then we will pick up our truck shortly. All right, now you might be wondering, Alex, you know, you're in this wonderful city of Las Vegas where so much stuff happens and there's so many interesting food options. Where are you gonna go for breakfast? Uh, and to that I would respond uh, uh, Denny's. <laughs> First of all, uh, there's the parking lot. Here's Denny's over here. So that's number one. It's stupid convenient. Uh, but number two, guys, I, I, it's the middle of coronavirus still. Like not the middle. It's the middle maybe of the second wave. There you go. Uh, but there's just, there's literally all the places are closed. Nothing's open. Everything's takeout. And Denny's, actually you can sit down in there. So I'm excited about that. That's why I'm going there. Uh, just because I do want just a place to sit so I'm not in the driver's seat all the time. So anyways, I'm gonna go get some Denny's breakfast and then we're gonna go grab our truck. 
All right, well, had some breakfast. That was delicious. Look, sun's coming up. I mean, the sun's already up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we're gonna go pick up the truck here shortly, but first we gotta make some room, right? As you can see, <laughs> uh, right here, okay, there you go. We got this little piece right here. It's in the way, and I wanna slide this long one to the edge so the truck can go over here somewhere, and yeah. So I think I'll slide all of the, I'll, I'll probably just shift the whole load to this end, put this one on that far side, and that'll be the solution. Anyways, let's get to work. All right, right before it gets really hot, <laughs> look at all this room. Um, so, so much deck space, look at that. Truck is gonna fit right here perfectly. Um, also, the truck is a uh, two-door, <laughs> regular cab or whatever, you know, so it's like, it's not gonna take up much room anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Well, let's go grab it, dude. This is exciting. So here's the situation. Uh, I don't know if this is somebody's driveway or something like that, or this is their backyard. I can't really tell. But it's like just a unfinished, like, a gravel lot or something. But there's a house right here, so I don't know. It's weird. It might be like a storage place. It doesn't, because all the windows are boarded up. I don't know. It's weird. But there's two cars in front of the thing, you know, right there. Look, see? Two cars. But you would think I'm loading a really low car. <laughs> but, uh, so here's the thing. It's a two-wheel drive <laughs> truck, so uh, that's fine. Uh, that just means it's low and actually it's right up there somewhere when we're gonna walk over there right now and I drove past it so I saw in the pictures also too that it's pretty low so I don't know if this will be enough I might have to back up a little bit more to something I know over there I kind of drove in over there and when I was coming down it scraped so I know over there it'll be much lower so if I need to repark I will but I'm hoping this is gonna be enough uh, to load it up so we got the deck space we got the ramp set up everything's good to go the truck is locked obviously because you know, just because there's stuff in the truck, like my other GoPro and like my computer. Uh, but I got my cash, so got 2,500 bucks asking price. That's the guy wanted. I'm not even gonna negotiate, you know? Right here, look at that. All this, I could do like all those uh, flexing Instagram posts, you know, let me like, oh, go make money online, go buy my course, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, look at that, oh, so cool. Nice. Anyways, let's let's quickly walk over uh, to, I'm a couple minutes early from our meetup time, but this will give me some time to actually show you guys the truck, you know? And then I'll just pay the guy the cash, and uh, and I will, will be proud owners, think about it, proud owners of a, I don't even know what year it is. It was even before I was even born, uh, but it's like a 1980 something. But we'll be proud owners of a Dodge Ram first gen. And just like that it's loaded up right there isn't that cool now like this thing looks cool it does it really does look cool but let me tell you it's a pile of garbage <laughs> oh goodness gracious uh did i uh did i jump in or did i bite off more than i could chew did i jump into the deep end and not realizing how deep it is and not knowing how to swim or something like that i don't know but there is so much stuff to do on this thing. Like first of all, these running boards have to go. Like there's a couple of little modifications that have to take place. Like, is that even OEM? It doesn't even look OEM, you know what I mean? But so there's a couple things that need to happen to even make it look presentable. That's number one. Number two is they're really, uh, yeah, like, I'm not very mechanically inclined. So this will be a learning experience for me. Um, now, I, I still haven't answered the question of why I even bought this truck, okay? Now, how can I say this? First of all, let's, how about this? How about we just go home, right? How about we just go to Texas, uh, unload this thing, and then we sit down and have a chat, okay? Let's go do that. All right, and just like that, I am at the house. Oh no, the neighbor's dog is there. Oh, I hate that thing. 
<laughs> you guys ever have a dog that just keeps barking and it's really, really annoying? Anyways, uh, well, so disregard the barking in the background. Okay, so I totally forgot to record me unloading the Dodge. Um, totally like rookie noob air. But anyways, here's the Dodge. Here's the Ford back all the way in with the trailer and then the Ram, obviously. Now, my plan is to park it right in here. Now you can see I got a little bit of tires over there and some storage stuff, but anyways, what's the whole point with this thing, okay? So I've made a video, okay? I made a video like um, fixing up my RAM or something. I forgot what it was called. This video right here, I'll link it right here, right? So it was about this truck, how I um, put a fresh coat of paint on it and did a whole bunch of stuff, fixed it up, made it nice, right? And then at the end of the video, I said, hey, my plan is to convert this truck to electric. And you guys, you guys were like, Alex, you're so dumb. Alex, don't do that. This is a running and driving working truck. And I'm like, uh, actually, that's a good point. It is a running and driving working truck. And then you guys said, what you should do is buy a cheaper truck and convert that truck to electric first, and then try to convert this thing afterwards if your plan really does work that well. And I was like, hold on, that's a good point. Um, let's get out of the shade, goodness gracious. Hold on, let's, let's get out of the sun and into the shade, okay? So you guys were saying that, hey, uh, you know, buy, don't convert your nice running and driving perfectly working truck to electric. Instead, convert the uh, some cheaper truck. And then I went on a shopping spree. I'm like, okay, well, an electric truck conversion, it needs uh, a couple things. First of all, the reason I want a pickup truck is because they're simple, it's just a body on frame. Um, that's why I wanted a pickup truck. And then I wanted a pickup truck that has like, um, that like looks good, you know what I mean? Like it, a lot of the trucks just don't look good on camera and so that was also one of the criteria. And then recently, the last criteria that I decided that I wanted to do was I want a um, an older vehicle that doesn't have a bunch of electrical components. And that would have been the huge massive problem with my RAM because my RAM has you know, the ECM, the, all the other power control modules, um, a bunch of the other computers, and that would be the big problem with my RAM of converting it to electric. You, the thing wouldn't actually know if it's working or not. So that's why I went with this Ram 1500. Now, I was looking for a Ram with a diesel, right, with the first gen. Um, I was looking for a first gen with a 12-valve uh, diesel, but those were either too expensive, didn't meet the price point, or just were rusted piles of garbage. And I stumbled upon this thing, like it's co it was coated underneath. There's so little rust on this first gen Ram. It is a 1992, and like I'm genuinely impressed with the condition that is in. It does need a little bit of clear coat, you know, because the roof is kind of rusted, the heat, the hood is kind of rusted and whatnot. But but ultimately, this thing, the body, the frame, it's in pretty darn good shape for 1992. And that's what this thing, you know what's funny? I'm actually, I was born in 1992 as well. And <laughs> what's really funny about that is, uh, who do you think's aged better? Obviously the truck, <laughs> but regardless. Um, so the thing does look pretty darn good and it's the perfect candidate, I think, for an electric conversion. And I actually have my eyes on an electric motor that the um, the thing that sticks out from the electric motor actually has a U-joint on it. And so now all I need to do is put a put, take off, take out the engine, the transmission, put the electric motor, mount it to the frame somehow, and then put it right on the drive, uh, right on the drive shaft and then hook up a computer and then put the batteries in the front and in the trunk and we're gonna have ourselves an electric conversion. And that's the whole point for the Ram. Um, this is gonna be my first electric conversion just because I think electric conversions are cool and in older vehicles like this pickup truck, I think they're especially cool because the gas in there is a piece of garbage and the transmission is like a two speed or a three speed, I think. It might be a three, but it might be, it's either two or three. You guys are gonna have to comment below because it only has D, two, and one. And so I don't know if D is all three and then two and one, or this is just a simple two speed, I'm not sure. And then not to mention the transmission slips in there anyway, so really the transmission's garbage already. But I think the engine's worth a couple bucks maybe, and I'm gonna try to see if I can find someone that'll take out the engine and just do it for free, but keep it, you know? So I don't know, there's a lot of plans. This is a long-term goal project. So that'll do it for this video. I look forward to your guys' comments down below. Let me know, did I buy the right truck, the wrong truck? What do you think about the first first gen? Is it technically a first gen if it doesn't have a diesel? Does that still count? I don't know. I'll, I look forward to reading your guys' comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.